Hello, this is the Auto Off Articulating Neo Pixel Reading Light. Uh, I built it to replace my other reading light, which is broken. Actually, I've had many reading lights and they've all broke. So, I thought I'd just make my own with a few more features that I want. Um, so, the first thing to notice is that it articulates, it just uses force at these pivot points to keep the arm in place. Um, you can turn it, flip that up, dial it down a little more. As long as you don't overturn it, it'll, it'll work pretty well. Uh, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but what I have is Maybe I'll show you this one. Is there's heat shrink on each side of the the joint, I should say. Uh, I don't have it on the ball, but I have it in the, um, the connectors or the uh, bracket, and that provides a little bit of friction because plastic on plastic didn't work out well. So the heat shrink adds some friction to keep the to keep the arm. From, from moving around. So that's that. Let's see what else is there. Um, it's a uh, screw clamp style instead of a spring clamp or a spring clip. Um, this is a M36 bolt and nut. And the instructions online are pretty awesome. I found a uh, YouTube that uh, provided dead accurate um, sizing for these. And um, unfortunately, my printer printed it a little, just a tad, a hair big. So I had to put a little beeswax in there to keep to to move it. Um, but if I were to dial it down a little bit more, it would have been perfect. Uh, let's see what else. There's a off switch, on off switch. There's a rotary encoder with a switch. I'll explain that in a second. Um, this, I couldn't fit the battery. I, originally I was going to go with a, a LiPo, but I changed my mind last minute to just go with uh, four AAA batteries. And now they don't fit. So, um, I'm going to print a bigger one of these housings. It just, it just needs to be a little bit bigger. But put it back on. And I have a base cap. I just, I have screw holes there and I just screw it on. Um, but right now it won't fit because I have the bigger power pack. Um, oh, let's see if I can show this. There's, a, it's still set in a, the Arduino Nano, still set in a breadboard because uh, the algorithm, the sleep motion algorithm, I'm still tuning. So I need to be able to pull that, pull that uh, board uh, microcontroller in and out so I can change the algorithm throughout the nights. Um, so that's what you see there. Once I get it settled, then I'll probably just solder it all on, on a, on a um, proto board or something. So let's do a quick demo. So again, this is the uh, rotary encoder with the switch, and that's the power switch. So I'm going to put this back on, clamp it down. Okay. Oh, I should have. Darn it! I should have mentioned that. On my headboard, on my bed, I have a uh, round stock. I don't have wood, of course. I have round stock. And um, so what I put here so that the plastic can grip onto the round stock is a uh, rubber. And it's actually just old bike tire tubes, bike tubes, that I cut a little piece out and I glued it on there. There's one on this side too. So that provides friction on the t on the uh, round stock to keep it from spinning keep it in place 
it's in the woodhouse. Okay, it's good. So let's turn it on. And um, this camera that I'm filming with, it's not very good with lights. If it's too bright, it just blows out the blows out the camera. So I'll try to not do that. So I'll turn it on. Maybe I should turn this off. Turn it on. It goes on like that. Um, so this, I have multiple modes. So this is just standard white reading light. Maybe do like that. Standard white reading light. And then the next one is red to uh, not be so intense in your partner's eyes. The next one is sort of a, uh, a rainbow spin mood light. It's a slow mood light. And um, just does this forever. And then the last one is a, say, a sort of frenetic um, changing of pairs of colors. So let's see. Um, the rotary, the rotary encoder has a, oh, it has been programmed so that if I can dial it down, dial it down, it dials down the, the brightness of the light. So you can see that. So this way also that, that helps, um, keep the light blasting in the, your partner's eyes while he or she's sleeping. So you can turn it up. Turn it down. Um, so you can probably see them now. So that's the reading light. Just straight white light. A submarine red light. There's the, you can probably see the rainbow. Sort of the rainbow spinning light. And the, sort of the frenetic light. Okay, so let's see if I can do this in the dark. I'll try to turn it down so it doesn't blow out the camera. So that, and that's off. That's white. And maybe I can turn it up so you can see it. So it's pretty bright. I can, I can easily read my notes. It's actually a little too bright, so I would probably dial it down to probably like right around here. And then this is the submarine red. That was just kind of cool to be able to have a little light, but not sort of affect your partner over there. It's a, a, a blinding white light, and then, and then even so, you can still dial it down. Uh, my monitors. Ah, there it is. Much better. And this is the rainbow pattern. I wonder if I can show it. A, I'm going to throw it up on the ceiling and see if I can get it filmed up there. Well, you can't really see the rainbow one. So how about the frenetic one? Can you imagine that be sort of you blast that pattern on there in your room? And it's just kind of a little bit of mood light. It might be a see it that way. Maybe that might be better. Yeah, you can see all the different lights. So it's white, red, and uh, rainbow, and the crazy, crazy fast mood light. Um, let's see what else is there. That's pretty much it.